is challenge young people to use social media to defend the church. You catechists, you have your Facebook. That's what Bishop Pabiga told me. Tell the catechists, fill up the social media defending the church, the good of the church. That these 500 years have been years also in which the Catholic Church has, has accompanied the poor and our people in the ways of justice and peace. Iba-ibang mga approaches ng bishops eh. Tama? Yes. Pero talagang ang very strong si So. And he told me, I have been murdered several times. In social media. But how? How do you develop this? The ecumenical agenda, directors and coordinators. How do you build common ground that in the classroom of a public school, there are five or six there who are Pentecostals? Do you alienate them? No. You find common ground. You affirm them. You don't tell them, Amali ang religion mo. Mali yun. Why? Because at the end of the day, they have their own understanding of Jesus. And that needs to be affirmed. And there is an increasing number of Muslims now in cities. Number four, fourth objective of the council is building bridges with the world. And building bridges with the world, what happens? Building bridges with the world that the church is found in the world. In the world of family, of culture, of politics, of economy. Which means, should the church get involved in politics, read the document from Vatican II. Read Gaudium et Spes, the pastoral constitution of the church in the modern world. So, brothers and sisters, what happened? In 1963, they wrote two documents, promulgated them. What are they? Number one, Intermirifica, which is the decree on social communications. And number two, Sacrosanctum Concilium, which is the constitution on the sacred liturgy. Now, take note. Huh? What happened? Sixteen documents were promulgated. 16 documents were promulgated. Four constitutions, nine decrees, and three declarations. Of the four constitutions, nine decrees, and three declarations, the most important are the four constitutions. Why? Because everything from nine decrees and three declarations for flow out of the four constitutions. So if you're going to study Vatican II, makuha lang ng mga katikis ang mapag-aralan ng four constitutions, mahalaga. Pero, of the four constitutions, which is the most important? Lumen Gentium. Because Lumen Gentium is an ecclesiological document. And since Vatican II is an ecclesiological council, you might as well focus on Lumen Gentium. So what are the four constitutions? First, Lumen Gentium. Dei Verbum. Sacrosanctum. Concilium. And Gaudium. Spes. The three are dogmatic. The fourth is Gaudium et Spes. For the record, it's a specialization course of moral theology, which I teach in four seminaries, also in Mother of Life. Gaudium et Spes, ang nagsulat niya sa draft, inutusan ni Paul VI, si Bernard Herring. That is why, if you want to have a mini handbook on moral theology, read Gaudium et Spes. Why? Because everything about fundamental morals and special morals is in Gaudium et Spes. Nandun ang human person, freedom, human act, conscience, nandun. The Magna Carta on Conscience is found in Article 16 of Gaudium et Spes. Seminary, pinamememorize ko yan, buong 16. Hmm. 
the depths of his conscience. God speaks to us. Lumen gentium de verbo. Now, let's go to each of them. Okay? Okay ba? Questions? Okay ba? Mamaya na yung isip ito. Mag-aano mo na ako ng Vatican II. Okay lang? Okay, let's deepen Vatican II ah. Pero mag-stretch muna kayo. Kasi ano na? Father Time. Father Time. Father Time.